Texas Autocross Weekend kicked off at UT Arlington with 14 colleges competing. This motorsport emphasizes safety, driver skills, and precision. Members of UT Arlington's Formula Society of Automotive Engineers are students that love what they do. Going fast and um, uh, building race cars um, is just, I don't know who wouldn't want to do that. Some of our guys were actually up. This will be their fourth night up without sleep working on these cars. So it's um, very easy to get obsessed. Team advisor Dr. Bob Wood says the hard work can pay off. Well, certainly the students have a great deal of passion for this because, as I said, it's an all-volunteer team. And we're putting in well over 5,000 man hours to build one car. So yeah, there's a lot of passion there, a lot of reward. And, and this is exactly who recruiters want. Autocross is accessible to almost anyone. Formula car team captain Lena Gary didn't know anything about race cars when she first started. I'm doing an internship right now with Sawyer Composite and without learning how to lay up carbon fiber, learning its properties and everything, I wouldn't have that job. So this program really opens doors. It's also a safe way to test your limits, which is one reason autocross champion Brianne Korn has loved the sport for the past seven years. The way that these courses are engineered and laid out, uh, with so much thought and put into the safety of the course that you can really go all out and the worst thing that happened you spin out and hit a couple of pounds. It's really one of the, it's the premier event of its kind in the country. It, it even, uh, I believe, uh, gets more attendance than some of the national events. In Saturday's events, UT Arlington's team came in second to the University of Kansas, but they dominated on Sunday. The team is preparing a hybrid car to race in 2012 pushing ahead to the future.